Hey guys, Ricardo with Fast Tech Performance, and today I'm here to talk to you about the MGP caliper covers for the 2016 Camaro. Now these caliper covers, they come in a couple of different color options. As you can see here, we have a set of gloss red. They also come available in gloss black and flat black. Now, these are the V8 Brembo covers, and these are the V6 covers. Now, both covers install fairly easy using the supplied hardware. Now some guys want these on the V8 cars because the factory caliper tends to kind of fade over time so instead of taking the caliper off, having it painted or powder coated, these covers go right on. The V6 guys, some guys want those larger caliper looking uh, behind the factory wheel. So these are a different option that allows them, instead of upgrading the brakes, it allows them to have a bigger caliper look. Now we're going to go ahead and get these installed on a couple of different cars. Alright guys, now here we are on the front of an SS car with equipped with the factory Brembo brakes. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the calipers and we're going to slide the brackets on the top side here, line it up with the rotor and slide right in. Same thing on the bottom side. Now what I do with the covers, I loosen those, those nuts a little bit, kind of get them pulled out a little bit, and then I'll take the clips, line it up, kind of sit where I want it, then I'll take the clips, line it up on the top, and just slide it in place. Once I got one up where I want it, I'll just hand tighten that screw, grab the other clip, and on the bottom side here, repeat the same process. Once I got everything kind of lined up, I'll take the rotor, spin it, make sure the brackets aren't hitting anything, and I'll tighten down the nuts using a quarter inch ratchet with a 3 8 socket. You can also use a wrench if needed. Once we got those tight, we double check it. There you go. Alright guys, now here we are on the back half of the car, equipped with the factory Brembo brakes as you can see. We're going to follow the same process we did on the front. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these nuts, loosen them up a little bit, We'll line it up, get it right where we want it. What I do is I take the top clip and I slide it in place. Once I get it fully seated, go ahead and go move on to the bottom. And repeat the same process. I'll hand tighten the nuts down here, double check my fitment. Once I have everything double checked, I'll go ahead and take my 3 8 socket, quarter inch ratchet, and just tighten them down. Alright, now we'll get the factory wheels back on, we'll see how it looks.